there's a possibility in the not too distant future the NFL will expand and add an 18th regular season game. That'll change a lot of things, including um, the off season. Sean Watson, his QB coach Quincy Avery from QB Unplugged, talking about that and the changes that would occur with an 18 game regular season. So when you start hearing and seeing, like the new stuff with the, it seems like they're trying to negotiate with the CBA, like where yeah. y'all not gonna have to do nothing until July. Or, or late June, basically. How do you feel when you see that? That'll be new for me. <laughs> you feel me? That's a long time. You really gotta lock in. You feel me? But uh, I don't know. I guess I guess a lot of the players feel like it's gonna be beneficial. So uh, you know, whatever happens for me is. Man, I, I don't want. I, I, I don't want to know what the rest of the players think. I want to know what you think. <laughs> for me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm cool with it. You know, I ain't going to complain either way, about a little bit. Yeah, either way, I'm going to still be working. So, like, you know, I'm going to have a game plan for my, my schedule, my routine. So, I ain't tripping on it. Yeah, to me, I think it's a little bit interesting because of how much, how many weeks in a row, let's say you're the, going to the Super Bowl, right? That means right. that one team is going to be working out all of June, all of July, like these are mandatory though. Those aren't. It's not gonna be optional. It's not gonna be like now where it's, you can come in, you know, March, April. Y'all got the choices. Not nah, all of that is gonna be basically like camp. So yeah. they're saying that every day, basically June to what is the Super Bowl? February. February. Every, man, if they do that, I think they can move. Feb, uh, it's gonna be like middle of Feb. I'm on towards the end of February. Super yeah, Bowl. you might get. You probably get two buys, but it's still yeah. a long. It's a grind. And Jacob, that's it. Would be two buys, which if you if you extend it out, that's another couple of it's it's another two weeks of games because you'd go eighteen and then there's another bye week, so it's driven by revenue, and the salary cap is a percentage of revenue, so everybody wins. That's why I I kind of think at some point in time there's going to be eighteen games. Yeah, I think it's almost inevitable at this point. I mean, when they wanted to go to 18 originally and then you got the 17 uh, number, they didn't float out that two-by situation. And it's like, to me, the biggest thing I understand, money rules the world. They want to find any way they can to bring even more of it in. But I don't know, going from like June straight through to February, like, aren't you kind of worried about the quality of some of this product? Like I know adding the second buy would help a ton, but like there's a lot of like the Browns were one of them. They, they really had no choice to play the Cincinnati Bengals. Like because they had a week five buy. like, I think you've got to really, if you're going to push for 18 games, I think you've got to try to potentially rework all of the off season and everything, because you cannot have them going from like the end of June straight through February with 18 games and the Super Bowl at the end of February and expect all of these football games to be more competitive and fun to watch. Like I think it'll end up damaging the product, but uh, I think in the end, they're not going to care because the, the checks are going to come in and eventually we'll, we'll be at 18.